Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we'll be going over all the details with how you can obtain hidden ability Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. So we are talking about hidden abilities in today's video. Now every Pokemon has access to a hidden ability, but it's how you get these hidden abilities and where you can get them, which is the kind of stumbling block for most trainers. So in this video, we're gonna cover all the details of how you can get these hidden abilities in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pill. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm pretty sick at the minute. So I've got a growly voice throughout this video. That's the, that's the main reason why I've got, I'm definitely coming down with cold. Before we start, probably want to talk about some misconceptions about where hidden abilities can appear in these games. Let's keep this short and snappy. Now, hidden abilities cannot be obtained in the ground underground. No matter what you do, no matter what statues you put in your, your base, no matter what you do with the diglets collecting, you will never ever get a hidden ability Pokemon in the underground, which is a bit of a shame. Regular encounters in the Sinnoh region, you are not gonna just wander into a patch of grass and come across a hidden ability Pokemon. It's just not gonna happen. It's not how they are encountered. And breeding two Pokemon with no hidden ability will not magically produce a Pokemon with a hidden ability. So that is a misconception. We'll get into how you can breed hidden abilities down. But first of all, these are the two main ways in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, how you're gonna be able to obtain a hidden ability Pokemon. Now the first way to obtain a hidden ability Pokemon is going to be through using the Poker Radar and Chaining Pokemon. Now the Poker Radar is obtainable in the post games so once you've completed the Elite Four, once you've obtained the National Dex, you will get given the Poker Radar from Professor Rowan. We've done a whole video on the Poker Radar and Chaining and how to get Shinies and High IV Pokemon and Chaining so if you want to check that out you can click this link up here and it will take you over to that video. Even though the Poker Radar is mainly used Use for getting shiny Pokemon, high IV Pokemon, you can also get hidden ability Pokemon using the Poker Radar. Now, when you walk into a patch of grass, you can activate the Poker Radar, and then in the area where you're hunting, four different patches of grass will start to rustle. Oh, wow! We got a shiny on one of our chain hunting for the hidden ability and we ended up getting a shiny Badoo. So that is a bit of a bonus for us in this method. So just be aware when you are shiny chaining, this can happen. Now it is within these patches of grass which can tell you if a hidden ability Pokemon is available or not. Now this is a regular patch of grass just throwing the grass out here. But if you look at this alternative one, we'll put them side by side so you can really see, the larger pieces of grass are gonna indicate to you that there will be a hidden ability Pokemon in that patch so all you need to do when you encounter one walk into that patch of grass and you will be guaranteed that the pokemon in that patch will have a hidden ability now the only issue with finding hidden abilities with the poker radar and chaining is that you're you're going to be limited to a certain pool of pokemon not every pokemon is available to be hunted through the poker radar so you're only going to have a small selection of pokemon that are available through this method you're not going to have everything available in the national deck the other thing is that there is a, a roundabout odds going around for when a hidden ability will appear in a patch of grass and that is one in 128. Now I'm not going to say that that is a dead cert but that is from a few sources what I have read of the chances of a larger patch of grass appearing with that hidden ability. So that is one way to get yourself a hidden ability Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The other method is by visiting the fight area. Now again, this is another post-game feature of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but once you do defeat the Elite Four or you have encountered the Elite Four, you're going to get access to the fight area. Now you can access this from Snowpoint City, take a ship across to this area, and once you're here, you're going to be able to take part in a few of the facilities that are located on this island, one of them being the Battle Tower. Now, once you come to the Battle Tower, you're going to be able to enter into it using a singles or a doubles team, and every time you beat a trainer, you're you're going to get gifted a certain amount of battle points and it's with these battle points that you can use to purchase items and one of these items is key in getting hidden ability pokemon so once you exit the battle tower once you've got enough battle points of course you want to just exit here and you want to come into this building here and this is where you're going to be able to exchange your battle points for items now the lady on or the assistant on the right will exchange battle points for TMs as you can see and the lady on the left is the one that we're looking for she will exchange baton points for items so as you can see the two items at the top are what we're more concerned about and that is the ability patch 
and to a lesser extent, the ability capsule. So once you have got this ability patch, this is the item that is gonna change any Pokemon's normal ability into its hidden ability. The ability capsule is a little bit cheaper. It is 50 battle points. It's still gonna take a little bit of time to get and the ability capsule will change the ability of these Pokemon, their normal abilities. It will never change into the hidden ability. So we're gonna jump into game now. I'm gonna show you an example of the ability patch. So what we're gonna do is show you how the ability patch works. In our party, we've got a couple of Pokemon already set up for breeding. Now we've got a Charmander here and it's got the ability Blaze, which is its normal ability and uh, we've got a ditto as well which has got a timid nature now we want to go into our bag and we want to use our ability patch and we want to use it on Charmander so we're going to just hit this change its ability and Charmander's ability is now changed to solar power so if we go back into the Charmander we'll be able to see that it has now got the solar power ability. So with the ability patch, what you can do is breed down these abilities that Pokemon have got now. So unlike when you're using bottle caps and, and hyper training, you can't breed down those hyper trained uh, IVs, but you can breed down hidden abilities if you do change them on a Pokemon. And we'll show you in this example. So we're just gonna drop these Pokemon in and you can do this with two Charmanders. You can do this with the Charmander with a hidden ability and then a Charmander with a non-hidden ability. And that'll give you like a 60% chance of still getting that hidden ability passed down because they're the rates regardless of female or male. But if you have got a Charmander with a hidden ability and you're breeding it with another Pokemon from its egg groups, like the monster or the dragon egg groups, just make sure that the Charmander that you've got with the hidden ability that you want to pass down, just breed in essentials, is that that Charmander will have to be female to get an offspring that is a Charmander. So I'm gonna head outside and we'll get some eggs. Got the egg? Now to hatch it. Okay, this is egg number five, and this should be it. This should be enough for us to at least get one passed down to our baby Pokemon. So let's see, all the eggs are hatched. We have about a 60% chance of the hidden ability being passed down to the offspring Pokemon. And that's with either a female or a male uh, having the hidden ability in the nursery. So first Charmander, Blaze, no luck. Second Charmander, Blaze. Third, Solar Power, there we go. Okay, we got the third one has got Solar Power. Fourth one's got Solar Power and the fifth one. So the last three have all got Solar Power. Those first two have Blaze, which isn't the greatest, but we do get three with that Solar Power. They've all got a Timid Nature as well because of the Everstone onto that Ditto. So we pass the Nature down and we've got those hidden abilities passed down onto our Charmanders ready to breed on to create that flawless Charizard eventually. So we have discussed the two methods, the two main methods to getting hidden abilities in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, but there is another method to get certain Pokemon with their hidden abilities as well, and that is by visiting Romanos Park. Now, once you've visited Romanos Park in the post game, once you complete the Elite Four, got the National Dex, Professor Oak will tell you to go to visit Romanos Park and in Romanos Park you're going to be able to obtain the legendary Pokemon and these legendaries that you're going to obtain in Romanos Park have all got access to their hidden abilities. Now for some of them it isn't ideal because you're going to get things like Regice, Regirock and Registeel with their hidden abilities. Now, I would always say for competitive use, the clear body ability, their regular ability, is the better ability to have. But you can see here, Regice has ice body, Regrock has sturdy, and Registeel has the light metal. Now we move on to Raikou, Entai, and Suicune. They all have access to their hidden abilities in a focus. And then we come down to Latias and Latios, which don't have hidden abilities, which just have access to levitate. But all the Pokemon legendaries that do have access to hidden abilities will have those hidden abilities in Romanos Park. So that is something to also keep in mind. But friends, I think that wraps up about everything that we needed to cover in this guide today in regards to hidden abilities and obtaining Pokemon with hidden abilities in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So we discussed the two main methods, which are through the Pokemon radar and chaining Pokemon. The only issue with that is you've got quite high odds to encounter the hidden ability Pokemon and you've got to wait for that specific patch of grass to appear to get hidden ability Pokemon in the chaining method. And also you've got quite a limited pool of Pokemon that are available to chain and only available through the Pokemon radar. So you're not going to get everything that's available in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl with their hidden abilities through this method. Now the other method is a lot easier. It is just going and buying an item, but the kicker is always going to be having to do that grind in the battle tower to get those initial battle points to be able to afford 
the ability patch before you can put it and put it into use on a specific Pokemon and get their hidden ability. But you can do that on any Pokemon in this game as long as it's got access to a hidden ability. At 200 battle points, it is a bit of a grind, but it is well worth it. It is the undefinitive best way to change abilities in this game. And it pretty much is the most seamless method as well. Although there is that grind as the kicker. But as you've seen in this video, once you do have the hidden ability with the ability patch, if the Pokemon is breedable, you're going to be able to breed that down and get yourself a flawless or perfect breed with the hidden ability in the game it does have about a 60% chance to pass down that hidden ability onto the offspring from a parent with that hidden ability now just remember that if the either if neither parent has a hidden ability then you are not going to be able to produce an egg with a hidden ability one of the parents has to have a hidden ability for the offspring to get that hidden ability as well I hope the guide made sense I hope it's helpful to you if it has been do drop a like on the video it does really help and do share it around with other players so they're aware of how hidden abilities are accessible and how they work in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you do enjoy the content, do consider hitting the subscribe button as well for more Pokemon content and we'll wrap it up there, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else and I will see you all for another episode on the channel very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.